Hello, this is Heather White, Programs Coordinator of Artists and Communities here at the Andy Warhol Museum. Today we are going to be looking at abstract paintings that Warhol made in the late 70s, early 80s. These paintings are called oxidations. In December 1977, Warhol began the oxidations, iridescent canvases made up of coppery yellows, oranges, and green. Surprisingly, the only paint used by the artist in this very painterly work was the metallic gold ground. Warhol would invite friends and acquaintances to urinate onto a canvas covered in metallic paint to cause oxidation. The uric acid reacted with the copper removing components of the pure metal to form mineral salts. Some colors developed immediately, while others like blue and green would form later on top of the red or brown copper oxides. Warhol and his collaborators experimented with both pattern and coloration by using a variety of metallic background paints and by varying the maker's fluid and food intake. In today's Making It video, we're going to show you how you can make oxidation paintings at home without the use of uric acid. For this project, you will need a small canvas or thick paper, modern masters metal effects paints and patinas, pH strips, which you can get at your local hardware store or pharmacy, petri dishes or small bowls to hold your liquids, pipettes or an eyedropper, paintbrushes, various liquids, some being acidic, some being bases, and a paper and pen. Use a paintbrush to apply the first coat of your metal effects paints to your canvas or paper. We're using these paints because they contain an actual metal in the ground. Another paint that looks metallic from your local craft store may not contain metal and therefore not produce an oxidation. While your first coat of paint is drying, you can gather your acidic and basic liquids and your modern master's patinas to experiment with. You can use your pipette or eyedropper to put liquids in different petri dishes or small bowls. You can then use a paper and a pen to label each liquid. Use your pH strips to test your different liquids. What liquids do you think will be acidic what liquids do you think will be basic? And more importantly, what liquids do you think will cause an oxidation on your canvas? When the first coat of paint dries, apply a second coat and then immediately apply your modern master's patinas as well as the other liquids you wanna try. Pipettes or a small eyedropper work great for applying the liquids to the paint. I use my pen and paper to place labels around my painting so I could see what liquids I tried in what spots. It may take several minutes or several hours for your liquids to fully dry and for the oxidation to fully occur. We hope you enjoy this making it video and are excited for you to try this at home.